Hey guys, today I'm going to be using a hand cam to show you how to stall in Rocket League. Now I'm sure you already know what a stall is, but in case you don't, check out this clip from Gainer. So as you could see, stalls are used to keep your car from falling in the air by stalling it, hence the name, and are primarily used in mechanics like chained resets, and they're also used for backboard resets. Before I get on to showing you how to stall, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below as I'm going to continue uploading helpful Rocket League content in the hopes that it will help you guys improve. But that's enough blabbering, let's get right into the tutorial. The first thing you need to know before attempting to stall is making sure that you have a directional air roll button bound to your controller. Something else that you might need to know as well is that you may have to up your dead zone. You can still perform this with a low dead zone, but it'll make it significantly easier if you just up it a little bit when learning. Now the first thing you need to learn is a tornado spin. This is something I've covered in previous videos about air roll left, but all a tornado spin is, is pressing your analog stick in the opposite direction as your directional air roll. Now all the stall requires you to do is to press jump while tornado spinning. It should look like your car is being suspended in the air midway through the tornado spin. But obviously your car shouldn't be doing a full barrel roll. This is where the hard part comes in. You're gonna need to learn how to do this really fast by performing the actions of the tornado spin then quickly pressing jump. This may take many attempts so try not to get too frustrated. Something else to note is that after performing this stall, you can press air roll to level out your car. This will help to keep your car straight when going for things like chained resets. Now I'm going to go over common mistakes that people make when attempting to perform a stall. Something that happens when people try to stall is that their car will either flip forward or backwards. The reason this happens is because when stalling, your analog stick needs to be perfectly to the side, which is why I recommended you to up your dead zone earlier, because it will give you less room for error. The second mistake that people make is not timing the pressing of air roll and jump properly. You don't want to press them at the same time, but you want to press jump immediately after pressing air roll. Now a way you can drill your stalls is by holding your analog stick to the side, then quickly pressing air roll and pressing jump immediately afterwards. The second drill I recommend doing is driving off the ceiling then trying to stall. This is good practice because most time when performing a stall your car will be upside down, which throws a lot of people off because they've only practiced it right side up. And the last tip I'm gonna give you is turning on limited flips on in Bakke's mod and trying to keep your car in the air by using stalls. But unfortunately, this one isn't available for console players like myself. But don't worry because the previous tips in this video are just enough to teach you how to stall. If you guys practice the things that I talked about in this video, then you'll be on your way to stalling in no time. If this video has helped you out, then leave a like and let me know in the comment section any questions you may have about stalling, as well as any recommendations for future videos you would like me to upload. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.